Hey, ladies and gentlemen. So, the house of Cremo, a house that, I guess you can call it <clears throat> a clone house, because a lot of their fragrances are either clones or inspired by, but we're going to do a deep dive into six fragrances that I have, that I absolutely love, and what do I feel about each individual fragrance? So, you know what, who it is. Like, comment, subscribe. Dita Vinci the Poet. Poetry and Sin Reviews. And as I always say, roll that beautiful bean footage. Okay, so let's kind of dive in pretty quickly because I have six fragrances. Pretty much all of the fragrances um, are descriptive. Like the name of the fragrance is what it actually um, has in the notes. Except for one, and I do have it pulled up on Fragranica. And I'm going to leave that one for last. I'm going to start with more of their lighter scents. I guess fresher summertime scents to all year round scents. And then move to the wintery scents, spicy fragrances, things like that. So since I'm starting with more fresher scents, let's start with um, Silver Water and Birch. This is a clone of Creed's Silver Mountain Water. Of course, everybody pretty much knows Silver Mountain Water. When you think of Creed, you think of Silver Mountain Water. You think of Aventus. You think of Viking. And you think of a few others. Maybe Royal Oud. Um, maybe... I mean, that's probably it. I mean, some of the other fragrances that Creed makes... It's kind of pushing it. Um, you have to really be a fragrance enthusiast to know, like, you know, Royal Him Himalaya, I think it's called. Um, you know, different fragrances like that. But this fragrance is a really good representation if you want Silver Mountain Water on a budget because Silver Mountain Water is extremely um, expensive. And it basically is what it is. It's Silver Water and Birch. <clears throat> I mean, definitely, definitely smells like Silver Mountain Water. It doesn't have that metallic, inky vibe to it. Um, but definitely, it is a fragrance that if you spray it the right amount of sprays, which with this fragrance, I recommend doing at least 10 sprays because... Because it is a lighter scent. You want to get it to project and you want it to last long. But if you do that then it'll definitely last long and that's from the house of cremo it is silver water and birch next is an all-year fragrance i definitely would recommend buying it's one of their newer fragrances um speaking of newer fragrances cremo if you're watching this then i would like some of your newer fragrances um just send me what you have uh i would love to do reviews on them and things because there's some fragrances that i cannot find and Hey, if you're watching this comment and we can link up, get in contact, things like that. And I would love to do some more reviews because I love the house. I love all of your scents, your soaps, sour gels, everything. But that's neither here nor there right now. So let's get back. This is Carolina Herrera's Bad Boy, the Eau de Toilette. This is their interpretation of it. And this is Cremo's Hemp and Golden Amber. Man, I still smell that silver water and birch. <laughs> this is about to clash. Oh my goodness. This is one of my absolute favorite colognes by the house. This is strong dose of hemp and a strong dosage of the golden amber. It definitely is an all year round scent. I can't really say um, what time of the year I would recommend this in because I feel like it can 
it can really do well in any um, season. Specifically, I would say probably like the springtime and the fall because it just seems like it'll go well with that type of um, season. But I just feel like even in the summertime, even in the springtime, this will work perfectly well. This is a good, good projector on my skin, and it is a good, good, uh, it has good, good longevity. Um, with both of these scents so far, I would say I get about six to eight hours on my skin, depending on the day, depending on the weather. But they both smell absolutely good. So if you want a good clone of Carolina Herrera's Bad Boy, I know there's so many flankers. There's the Bad Boy Ode Parfum and, and uh, Don't Get Mistaken by Bad Boy in the Gold Bottle. It's the exact same Bad Boy Ode Toilette. They just put in a limited edition bottle, so don't fall for that. And I think there's a Bad Boy coming out, like an Extreme or Elixir, something like that. But there's be on the lookout for that. But if you do want Bad Boy EDT on a $20 budget, Hemp and Golden Amber. Next is going to be, um, I'm going to start getting into more of the fall and wintertime scents. Uh, those two are the only two that I have that I can say can be worn in the warmer weather. The rest of these are definitely going to have to be worn in colder weather. Since it's cold right now, I have four more scents that all can be wear, worn in the colder weather. I'm going to start off with probably my least favorite out of these four, even though I still love it, I still wear it, you will see a dent in this bottle. I'm not sure what this is a clone of or it's, it's if it's inspired by anything or if this is just their, one of their original scents, but it is Cremo's Sandalwood and Suede. And that's what you get. You get Sandalwood, you get Suede, kind of that leathery vibe a little bit. Um, but it definitely works. Um, it definitely works. It's a good longevity. Pretty much all of these I get around the six to eight hour mark on my skin. You 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 may different. You may uh, it may vary for you because of the skin chemistry and things like that. But that's definitely what I get, and I think that's what most people get with these fragrances. And that's sandalwood and suede or the toilet from the House of Cremo. Next is going to be my uh, number three spot in the cold weather fragrances of Primo. And that's going to be, let's do Distillers Blend. That's the one. Here's what that bottle looks like. Um, sorry for the presentation of the sticker. It really doesn't matter. We're here for the juice. And as you can tell, I put a pretty decent dent in pretty much all of these fragrances. So according to the Fragranica, it is woody, aromatic, earthy, and warm spicy. This, uh, this one came out in 2022, but it contains vetiver, oak, and bourbon whiskey. Uh, doesn't have any top notes, mid notes, or base notes or anything like that. It's just, it is what it is. Vetiver, oak, and bourbon whiskey. Now, let me give this a couple of sprays in the air. <clears throat> and definitely you get that boozy vibe right off the bat. Like you're gonna get that whiskey right off the bat. You're gonna get that vetiver and you're gonna get the oak. But I really get the whiskey vibe kind of right off the bat. It's lingering in the air. If you spray too much, you will get a headache on this one because it's really, really strong. That that boozy note and that oak note, it's just, oh my God, it's powerful. So definitely, beyond the shadow of a doubt, this is a winter scent. It smells really great. You know, if you like that type of, um, if you like those type of notes, but please die down on the sprays. Don't go 10 sprays heavy with this one. Do 
you know, anywhere from about three to five sprays on this one because it is super strong and it'll choke people out. It'll choke yourself out. You won't feel well. You'll be dizzy, lightheaded. You'll have a headache. So that's from the House of Cremo Distillers Blend. Next is going to be um, a fragrance that is a clone. I know what this is a clone of. This is a clone of Victor and Ross Spice Bomb. No, it doesn't smell like Beverly Hills Polo Club Blaze. I tried smelling the two because I have both. I tried smelling two at the same time. And <clears throat> the difference is that Beverly Hills Polo Club Blaze is way sweeter than this. This is more uh, spice oriented. This is Spice and Black Vanilla. So this one is more centered on the spices. Um, it definitely, definitely isn't as sweet, but it definitely does the job. It is a lovely fragrance. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. If you want Victor and Ross Spice Bomb on a budget, definitely, definitely get Spice and Black Vanilla. You would not be disappointed. Um, and it just works. So again, that's from the House of Cremo. It is Spice and Black Vanilla. And last but not least, probably my favorite Aww. of the winter fragrances. This one, I kind of get a little Jazz Club vibe. I'm not sure if this is inspired by Jazz Club or if this is a clone of Jazz Club. I'm not sure. But this one is Cremo's Bourbon Vanilla. That's exactly what you get. I get more of the bourbon than I do vanilla. It's not as sweet as spice and black vanilla where you can actually smell the vanilla yeah you can actually smell the vanilla in this one um like right off the back like i said this isn't as sweet as beverly hills polo club blaze but at the same time um you do get the vanilla in there you get more of the bourbon in this one so this is just amazing this is beautiful scent this is really good if you're going out like to uh dinner you're going out with your friends to like a bar or something like that this will definitely do the trick it is amazing i love it um and this is from the house of cremo this is bourbon vanilla so there you have it those are my six cremos i will be getting some more uh as i can find them like i said cremo if you're watching this video reach out to your boy i would love to do some reviews i love all of you guys fragrances uh, I haven't been disappointed. Like I said, I have six of them and I love them all. Um, and if you just want good, good clones on a budget, check out Cremo. Check out their um, <clears throat> their soaps. Check out their shower gels. Check out their aftershaves because they make them in these scents as well. Like I know Distillers Blend has one. And um, if you go like to your rack stores as well as uh, like Walmart, Target, you'll see in the uh, shower gel section and stuff like that you will see uh cremo so that's pretty much it so as I always say tell a friend to tell a friend's mother father sister brother cousin that need to the poor does poetry and sin reviews and remember god bless as always take them with you in each and everything that you do i love you guys continue to like comment and subscribe push that notification bell so that you can be notified every time i release a video and shout out to everybody doing fragrance reviews shout out to my boy justin copeland shout out to my boy ross over at tott reviews shout out to ashton jensen's uh d4g shout out to trace Sense. shout outs to grown man style um uh, aromatics uh shout outs to curly fragrances curly scents uh Demi Rawling. I mean, the list goes on. Big Beard Business, even though he's been out of commission for a minute. Um, my boy Dallas over there at Chaos Fragrances. Shout outs to Casual Fragrances. I mean, just shout outs to the whole game. I appreciate y'all. Y'all been doing this before I was doing it, so I definitely look up to you guys. I appreciate it and salute. I'm out.